Hi, I'm Mateo, and today we got the announcement of a brand new update already coming to Pets Go this Friday. Because of that, it's super important that you are prepared and ready for all of the new upgrades that we're going to be getting. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all of the leaks that we got so far, as well as what you should be doing right now to prepare. And on top of that, I'll also be giving you some tips and tricks for grinding the most effective in this game that will help you to become absolutely stacked. And if you want to see more helpful Pets Go content, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. Now, without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, you guys. So first of all, I want you to let me know down in the comment section what your best role has been so far. I honestly think I've been super unlucky. If you look at my roles here, I have more than everybody in the server at 120,000 roles, and my best role is only 1.8 million. I'm just convinced I might be the most unlucky player in the game at this point because this guy in my lobby has 34,000 roles and already has a 9.5 million pet. So clearly, I must be doing something wrong but besides that we did get some very exciting news because we hit the like goal for the game big games is actually releasing their very first update for pets go this week on friday and they're also releasing the halloween update on saturday for pet simulator 99 if you're interested in that so because of this we are going to be getting at least 80 brand new upgrades into the game that's going to be added to some of the trees that we already have and potentially even we are going to get some some new trees that we can select. And I'll have a picture of the actual leak that Big Games gave us right here on the screen. And as you can see in this tweet, they say exactly what I just said. There are 80 plus new upgrades coming to the game. And then they show this picture with a example of six of the new upgrades that we're going to be getting. Now, really quickly, I'll give you some theories on what I think each of these is going to do. Starting off with the first one, which looks like the exact same symbol as the little upgrade thing here. Now, because it has the wings on it, it really looks like the rebirth symbol from pet sim 99 so potentially we could be getting some new rebirth into this update now i couldn't tell you what rebirthing would mean in a game like this i'm not sure if that would reset all of your upgrades or your level or what and then on top of that i don't know what rewards you would even get for rebirthing so i'm totally not sure about this one again it is just a theory but that's what it looks like to me and if it's not that it could just be some sort of additional like xp upgrade boost and then the next one here you can see is a a superior chest inside of a regular mini chest now that chest symbol doesn't look like one of these big chests here it instead looks like one of the little mini chests so i can only assume that this upgrade is going to enable you to get a chance of a superior chest spawning after you destroy a mini chest and then that superior chest can give you all sorts of high level potions and stuff like that i would assume and then the third icon here is clearly going to be the flying balloon presence that we have in pet sim 90 so I assume it's going to work the exact same way where you can just like click on the balloon and you're going to use your slingshot to shoot it down and it'll give you some rewards like when you walk over these presents how it gives you a certain amount of coins so I assume it's going to be something like that and then the fourth icon here is clearly the fire dice which were actually in the RNG update in pet sim 99 a couple months ago I'm assuming that these are going to speed up how fast your dice will roll for a specific amount of time so this will definitely be cool it should be affecting how much rolls that people can get in total now the last two icons on this leak from big games i'm not entirely sure what these are gonna do the fifth one is some sort of blue tnt with some effects around it so i'm not sure what this will do i assume it could just be some sort of like tnt crate from pet sim 99 where if you use it it'll just go around and explode everywhere and destroy some breakables and then the last icon is some sort of of void dice which you can only assume is going to give you some insane luck or it could be incorporating the dark matter version of pets so who knows what this dice can do and inside of the replies of that tweet from big games somebody asked them if we are going to be getting some sort of magnet upgrade in this update and in response to this big games responded wink 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 so we can only assume that one of these 80 plus upgrades are also going to be a magnet enchant which will help you to pick up coins as well as items from further distances now this is a very big deal something we definitely needed because the range to actually pick up coins and stuff is so low it's like insane that i can't pick up these coins that are right there and then on top of that sizzles jelly queen also asked big games in that tweet whether or not we we're going to be getting some
some new pets. And in reply to that, Coder Joey actually responded with a whispering emoji. So we can also assume that we're gonna be getting some brand new pets, which will be very exciting. Hopefully we get some more huge pets besides just these four that we have now. We could potentially even be getting the first Titanic added to the game, but I doubt they would go ahead and add that just yet. Now that is actually it for the leaks that we have so far from big games. Everything else that you're seeing around on Twitter and stuff is most likely fake. But with all those leaks brings the question of what you should be doing right now in order to prepare for that so that you can be ready for when all this new content comes out. Now, obviously, if there is actually some sort of a rebirth mechanic put into the game, it really won't matter how many coins you have as long as you have enough for that rebirth upgrade. Now, again, this is just a theory, so there might not even be a rebirth in this update. But even if that is true, I do think it's going to be a good idea for each and every one of you to get 1 billion coins so that when this update does come out, you can actually go ahead and buy the new upgrades instantly. The worst thing that you can do is be unprepared and have to grind for an additional day after the update comes out in order to experience the new content in the game. And another argument against grinding for coins right now could be the fact that we are supposed to get a magnet upgrade in the new update. So once the update does come out and you have the magnet upgrade, you are going to be able to grind four coins AFK a lot easier. Now, the reason for this is the current best way to actually grind in this game is by standing like right in the middle of where all the breakables usually spawn. And then what you're going to want to do is align your camera up with the ground like right here, as well as line your cursor up to the level in which the breakables would be in your vision. And then what you're going to want to do is hold the right arrow and then press press the little slash because when you do that it's going to automatically continue you spinning and then if you go from here and turn on your auto clicker you're going to be auto clicking all of the breakables around you and your pets are going to be going to each and every one that you click now this method is actually very good and it does generate a ton of coins as well as items from chests and stuff like that but unfortunately it's just really not that good right now because of the fact that you don't pick up items around you very closely so essentially all of these coins and items that are getting dropped on the ground you are not going to be getting while you're afk but once this magnet upgrade comes out it should be a lot better to do that method so instead i think the number one thing that each and every one of you watching should be doing right now before this update comes out on friday is to actually be stacking up on all of your potions because as many of you probably know the potions are the majority of the end game with things like the cocktails, the instant luck threes, as well as basically all the other potions on top of that. And we could also potentially be getting some new potions. So it's really important that you are stocking up on these. And the number one way you should be doing that is by continuously checking this index shop because this gives you some of the best potions in the game. And I honestly don't think I'm gonna be able to spend all of these tokens at any point in the game. So I pretty much just go through and buy everything in here as long as I have a decent amount of tokens. Sometimes you can even find instant luck threes in here and that is the absolute jackpot when that's the case. But on top of that, this is actually what I do suggest you AFK instead of doing that spinning method with the coins. Oh yeah, don't forget to be farming these chests. As you can see in this video, every time I see a chest, I go ahead and farm it because these are just so good and drop some of the best potions in the game as well. Now, in order to actually AFK buy from this vending machine, it's super easy. It's just like a one, two, three tiny task motion. So what you're going to want to do is sit in this corner and then you're just going to record yourself backing up, going here, clicking yes, and then going back to the corner. And then you can essentially just play that recording back all night and you are going to be automatically farming these potions. And when you wake up, you are going to have a absolute boatload and you should be able to make plenty of instant luck threes. Now, really quickly, I will demonstrate here for you guys. So what I'm going to do is start the recording, walk back, walk forward, press yes, and then go back in the corner. So if I go ahead and play back the recording, this is what it's going to do. And it's just going to do this all night. Make sure that your recording hotkey for tiny task is not R because when you press R, it's actually going to stop your auto roll. So make sure you don't do that and turn off your auto roll by accident. But either way, this method still does work very well. Let me record it again. So I'm just going to start my recording, walk back, 
click yes and then walk back to the corner and then if i replay it back and forth this is just gonna go all night here and then when the vending machine is out it's just gonna click the okay so it should still work perfectly fine now by far this is the best thing for you to be afk because you need so many of these potions in order to make it the super high level ones and i'd honestly save all of the potions that you do get for friday when the update comes out because then you're going to be able to get a chance at any of the new pets if they do come but besides that you guys that is pretty much it for this video hopefully you learned something new and if you did remember to give the video a like and if you are interested in getting a side huge pet from me in pet simulator 99 we do daily side huge giveaways over on my discord for absolutely free link is down in the description below i personally don't go around signing people's pets so this is my way to give out some signed versions of pets to you guys so definitely go ahead and check that out thank you guys so much for watching hope to catch you in the next one and peace out